Closest to the Hole Productions. Credits. Background. Closest to the Hole Productions is the production company of Mark Wahlberg. July 18th, 2004. Logo. On a black background, we see a green golf circle with a red flag and with the red text, closest to the whole productions, underneath the circle. With one ball already in place. Then, another ball then appears and hits the ground and rolls very close to the hole, hence the company's name. Variant. Black circle sometimes, the logo is still with only one ball. Another still variant exists where there are two balls. Trivia. If you look closely at the second golf ball, you can see the letters MW, which represent Mark Wahlberg's initials. FX, SFX, the golf ball. None for the still version. Music, sounds. The ending theme of the show. Availability. It was seen on Boardwalk Empire, in Treatment, Ballers, Shooter, Entourage, How to Make It in America and Wahlburgers. Editor's Note, None. Dr. Hor Productions. Credits. Background. This is the Vanity Plate of Dan Hor. 17-9-2013. Logo. On a sky blue background, we see a cartoon doctor with one hand in his pocket, and the other holding a syringe. <laughs> Above him to the left are the words Dr. Gore, and on the bottom to his right is the word Productions, both in a childish font. The doctor then shushes and his face goes from smiling to suspicious. Variant. On odd-numbered episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the logo is shown next to the Three Arts Entertainment logo. FX, SFX, the doctor moving his arm to make a shush gesture. Music, sounds, just Dan Gore saying, not a doctor, shush. Music, sounds variants. On the Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode, Yippee Kayak, the laser sound from the Fremulong logo, instead of the shush, sound, plays over due to an editing error. Maybe it was intentional. Black circle on the Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode, Terry Kitties, the shish sound is replaced by a kitty meowing. On the Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode, 99, the shish sound is replaced by a man growling. Availability. Seen on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Grand Crew and Killing It. Editor's note. It's a funny logo and a favorite among Brooklyn Nine-Nine fans. Erica Messer Productions. Credits. Background. This is the production company of Erica Messer. March 16th, 2016, May 17th, 2017. Erica Messer Productions. Logo. On a black background, we see a bordered photograph of a young Erica Messer and her brother out on a dock, watching a rocket take off in the distance. The company name is seen inside it, which is aligned to the left and has a shadow behind. FX, SFX, none. Music, sounds, none. Availability. Seen on Criminal Minds, Beyond Borders. Editor's note, it's a cube logo. Flying Glass of Milk Productions. Credits. Background. This is Mad Nix's production company, although the logo wasn't used until Season 2 of Burn Notice premiered on USA Network. July 10, 2008. Logo. On a light blue background with teal lines, the text, Flying Glass of Milk, curved and sketched. Zooms in. Then, a winged glass that full of milk in a blue circle that has legs with red shoes, staring at us. Along with the text, productions below it, both zooming in. The company name also has a red outline with a teal extension behind. Variant. On the comedians, the logo is next to the Tamaroa Productions logo. FX. SFX, the zooming in, music, sounds, 
a cheerful, fast-paced, three-note orchestral tune. Music, sounds, variants. An alternate version exists where the tune is rearranged and low-pitched with one additional note. Black Circle Otherwise, the ending theme of the show. <laughs> Availability. Seen on Burn Notice, starting with Season 2. The Comedians, Complications, The Gifted, and the series adaptation of Turner and Hooch. This logo is expected to appear on the upcoming TV series adaptation of True Lies. <laughs> Editor's Note. None. Mm. Gramnet Productions. Credits. Background. Gramnet Productions, also known as Gramnet. NH Productions is the production company of actor-producer Kelsey Grammer. November 30th, 1995. Nickname. The Dolphin. Logo. In a muddy blue area with streaks in the corners, a golden dolphin appears and quickly dives into an invisible pool of water, creating ripples. The ripples then produce a golden rectangle, in which a G quickly zooms in to fill the space. Below, two streaks form, G-R-A-M-M-N-E-T, in a golden sans font, and productions spread out in a different silver font. More streaks continue to move in the background as the G shines. Variants. And in association with disclaimer can be seen below the logo on some shows. Dot. On the original version of the logo, the aspect FOV is changed using vert algorithm between the 4 to 3 and 16 to 9 versions. Starting in 2005 on season 2 of Medium, the logo is altered in animation, with the ripples glowing at first before forming the rectangle. The logo is also enhanced with upgraded effects and a different, bolder font. On shows starting with Boss, it has an arc in the letters NH below the logo. Logo. Seen above the Kuzel Enterprises and Sand Dollar Television logos on a purple background, we see a square with two sections. The green section has text reading the company name. On the bottom is a picture of a wolf seen howling over the moon with stars scattered around the wolf. Variants. On the second episode of Angel, the logo is replaced with simple text reading the company's name and the Kuzui Sand Dollar logos below, on the same metal background as usual. FX, SFX, none. Music, sounds, none. Availability. The regular version was seen on the first season, excluding the first two episodes of Angel, starting with the third episode in the dark, while the text-only variant is was seen on Lonely Heart. Editor's note. None.